Together, together we're the Lexi's best friends make good cakes together. together. Today we have raisin canes. Uh, we got the six piece, two toes, hold that nasty ass coleslaw, and the fries. Same thing. For twenty dollars, fill this hoe up. Yeah, dog man. I hope I don't make a mess. I just clean the car. Making my sauce concoction. I don't need no hot sauce. You need more. I don't, but thank you. I've been craving this. Sauce concoction is cane sauce, ketchup, and Hot sauce. Where I go, man? Damn. You would have thought the damn ketchup had some secret powers on it or something. I was so hard to open up. Let's get the rest of this sauce with my bread. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to go up. It's a chicken tender. Ain't nothing what I can saw. Literally. Mm-hmm. It was empty. It was empty. <clears throat> Give this a good stir. Does my sauce pouch see it? It's good. Mm -hmm. I've been craving this for like three weeks. It's whatever. It's good tonight. I don't be craving it though. I don't know why. Maybe just a toast. Or she. Okay. This was your idea, Marsha, huh? I said it because I ain't had no other options. Oh. Uh because -huh. it was up to me. Is that why you got so happy when you saw me looking at Wiener Schnitzel? When you looking at Wiener Schnitzel? Um, no. Um, Diet Coke. Just remind me. Oh, that's Chris. Mm -hmm. That's Chris, boy. No, but... Um, yeah, we just ain't had it in a long time, so motherfucker, I, I could be my own ass because that shit's annoying as hell. What was it? A piece of a big ass piece of chicken. Mm hmm. Shit's good. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Mm -hmm. One lights went out, so I guess this is an intimate McBain. I hope your light don't go out, Lord. 
I wouldn't been holding this charge since um since I broke it. I don't know when I was. Why did it die? I literally fully charged it when before we lose this the last time. I was sitting with my purse. Man, being a creator is hard. It, it really not honestly <laughs> no for real, for real. no i said that's a joke but it's for real it ain't, it ain't easy it's not hard but keeping all your guys is charge is hard yeah and keeping up with them is hard how long camera no ain't nothing no mm -mm. Filming but today filming, filming myself i think it's hard yeah I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it. Hell no. Especially if I'm getting paid millions. Um, but, uh, and we're working nine to five. Fuck. But I was gonna say earlier, while I was trying to upload the trial haul, I was like, damn, I wish I didn't have another job in the way. Now, I could have been had that video up if I, didn't, if I wasn't working. <sighs> I feel it. Well, yeah. She was pissing me off. Talking about some. I've been up since 3 a.m. filming a uh, makeup video. Girl, shut the fuck up. <clears throat> shut the hell up. Some people waking up at 3 a.m. to go to the refinery plant. Literally. That's no shit all day. You talking about put on makeup? Working fuck off. 12 hour shifts. Like, girl, fuck up. You literally. Very tired of people. Actually shit. working. You sitting here playing in makeup. That's all you're doing. And we sitting here playing in our plates. Literally. And we doing it for fun. I'm, I'm fucking eating. And having a damn good time. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and complain. Hell no. Especially the people that's watching this. And then the honestly, fuck? if if you didn't want to if you didn't want to work hard, you should not have started a damn beauty channel. Period. Oh, cry baby ass, annoying ass voice girl. Oh, cockroach bitch ass hoe. Twenty four year old looking like you forty two. Please wrinkled in the skin. Ass and, and ass ain't right. <laughs> Cause how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Go off to me that's paying your bills, paying your bills, and waking up at three a.m. going to a regular ass job. If y'all like her, sorry, I, I I can't stand that girl. Me either. Kim got ass, man. I do a real good hang on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, because you ain't gonna make me choke. Okay, now I go. Hang on. It's been a while, so so my Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Like that. Literally. People yeah. from Boston don't even talk like that. Hey, we caught your ass. Because there's a video of her going around of how she really talked. Girl. Mm -hmm. I, I blocked her. I blocked her and, and I um filtered out her name from, from popping up. From her <laughs> videos popping up. Because she can go where the sun don't shine. My ass crack. Other, other, other girl too. Whatever girl. She on book talk. Mm. She's annoying as shit. I might end up over there because you know I read now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I I had this girl blocked from like the second video I, I've seen of her, and then she got in some drama, so that they kept stitching her. And she kept popping up and popping up. Now she in some more mess, and they and they keep stitching her. And she keep popping up and popping up, and she is over the fucking top. I hate that. She's sitting here crying about Harry Potter. You get a grip, like girl. You get a grip. Damn, I'm putting these fries away. <laughs> it's so little in here. Hell. Huh. What the fuck was that? What the, what, it, what was it? I don't know if she like was coughing or what. Um, I should have went with my first mm -hmm. mind and got a um six piece or four piece. Four piece maybe Same. even a three piece. Yeah, I'm literally at two and I just want the bread now. Look good. Look good. Look good. 
a piece of crust. Mm. It's like soft as shit. I thought I, I thought I ate some of the damn chicken membrane or some shit. Ha! Let me get a swig, same. As I don't get a swig. I do need a swig though. Mm. You gonna use your um second sauce? Mm. Yeah, I may need it. I'm ready. I can give you some. It's okay. Damn! I just gotta be frugal with it. What drink I got? Ice with a side of that coat. What the fuck? Yep, there it is. Now I can finish my last two. Here. Oh okay. Here. It's okay. Here. It's okay. Here. It's okay. Here. Girl, okay. it's okay. You want it in here? Yeah. Okay. 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 You bit off that piece of chicken? Oh my God. You'll be okay, girl. What the hell that? We, I thought we ain't had nothing to talk about, but we sure did come in. Whew. When food hit our system, I was kind of hungry. All mm. I had was peanut butter and crackers today. That ain't right. <coughs> and if it was daytime, y'all would know this is the spot we filmed our second ever mukbang. Yeah, we back in our old stomping ground. Yep. Mm. Just got back from working out at the nail shop. Working out is crazy. Mm -hmm. My damn thigh is burning and shit. I do not been like that. She was cool and everything, but damn. Grandma still work here. Huh? Grandma still work here. We should go say hi. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing but a thing. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm going to have to eat it, though. I ain't saving this. Uh, what that mean? Raisin? Did the damn thing tonight. I don't be craving it, but it is damn good. Mm, mm hmm. Mm, the birds must have been just must have just start flying. They must have just stopped flying. So this shit good. Right now, my fish too wet. What? You don't have to say that. What? What, you feel bad? Are you eating the chicken? I've seen chicken once in my life. Alive. I said, hey, little Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. He knew what it was. I don't feel bad either. Hey, it's little, evolution. Hey, little Popeye is fucking crazy. Mm hmm. Sure. <sighs> yeah. I ain't give a damn. I got one and a half, one, basically just one tender left. You want that pep, that um, toast? Mm hmm Yes. I do, actually. Hate to break it to y'all, but I, oh, oh, oh shit. I, I hate to break it to y'all, but the food is gone. The food being gone. I ate that up. <sighs> It was worth my points. I couldn't eat all day because I was like, let me save the rest of my points for Raven Canes. I really want to get a six piece. It was worth it. It was fucking worth it. And I still got room for dessert if I wanted to. But I'm too goddamn full.
Here's the hole. <coughs> Cowboy Carter. It's the best thing out. I'm sorry. Whole album. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Except that. for one. It's like two that I skip over. I just can't get Jenny with that one. I can't yet. Which one? But it was Alice, um, Alligator Tears. I will skip over. That's a good now one. Now I can't stop listening That's to it. That's not a good one. It's just you got to get used to them first. For me, I, it just, it don't vibe well. Which I, one? I don't like it. Sweet, sweet honey bucking. Oh, that was good as fuck. You got to listen to it more than once. That would make me want some damn, uh, that would make me want a KFC, a KFC biscuit with some honey. I don't know why. Shit. I just can't, can't get with it for real. Yeah, that's good. The beat and everything. Did you listen to it in the car? I tried. Bass up. It like don't. It don't. It's not in the right place on the album or something. In between, it's in between two hands, seven, and um, amen. It's like right, oh, right it's, after tyrant. Yes, it's between tyrant and amen. But the way listen to it, don't shuffle it. Then y'all taught me that. Don't shuffle it. Yeah. If if if, if you shuffle that album, it you change. you fucking crazy. It change your mind. Change your mind because it just it just it flows. It yes. flows. Yes. Why? Because why would you shuffle it? I was gonna shuffle it. I, that's what I usually do. That's probably why I didn't get the full effect when I first heard it. The first ever song I really listened to and paid attention to was the one with Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus did a damn thing, and Beyonce let her do it. Mm mm mm. <clears throat> Hey, Dolly, she done added a damn word to my list because I'm going to use hussy. I'm going to. I got to. You want to use a hussy before? I will. Mm-hmm. What was I going to say? Shit, Danielle. What was I going to say? Oh, and also, to the people, it's not just, I don't know if I ain't never seen black people complain about it. I don't know. But to the non-black people that think, oh, my God, Beyonce, this ain't doing it right because of country. I'm going to dip it right in the bud. I'm going to nip it right in the bud. Hate to bring it to y'all yet again. But country came from black people. So it sucks to suck. But we let y'all have it. With y'all whiskey glasses. And turn it up in the club on a Thursday night in your pickup truck. We let y'all have it. And I bounce that shit. Get diggy with it. You know what I'm saying? with it. You know? Ain't no diggy. <laughs> so I mean, if I bounce with y'all, y'all need to bounce with us. Stop making it about a race. It's good music. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? They just too. Not all. Not all of them. No, Certain definitely. people. It's a select few. Like like that little girl talking about. Black people don't belong in country music. You you guys were slaves. Your 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 great grand grandparents weren't were out there. What she say? Picking, not planning. Everything came from black people. She sounds stupid. Who took care of just a little history lesson? Because this is the only type of history I listen to. I don't give a fuck about Christopher Columbus. I don't give a fuck about BC or DC. I mm -hmm. pay attention to the, the slave times and shit like that. And from my understanding, is that slaves took care of white kids. Uh, slaves got raped by white men. Um, what else? They held it down. <clears throat> the black guys would be the ones out there working hard driving the, the the horses doing the hard labor all master did was sit in the plantation and run the shit so i'm not gonna say i'm never gonna downplay maybe it is because i'm no it's not because i'm black if you have common sense you know you're not gonna down you're not gonna downplay a black person you just not if you want to take it back to the slaving time get your facts right and get your facts right because ain't nobody taking that bullshit what the fuck oh my god that's Stop embarrassing yourself. You being loud and wrong is not cute. Like, ain't nobody asking for sympathy, but you know, like, when y'all start talking like that, ooh, it, it make it hard as fuck to deal with y'all shit. For real. It really do. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of things that we do and that people take over. And we try to speak up on them, but y'all always talking about we playing the victim. It's not playing the victim. It's facts. Y'all came out with green bean casserole. We let y'all have that. Y'all eat that up. You know what I'm saying? But everything ain't about race. But you want when you want to turn it to race, we can go there. We can go there. We can go there. Cause see, most of us ain't racist like like some people, especially some whites. Like I just don't get it. It's not cute. It's 2024. Get get a grip. Grow the fuck up. <clears throat> the fuck up. More than likely, your doctor's probably gonna be black, so get with it. 
So and shut the fuck up. They ain't gonna go there. Of course they're not gonna go there. I, I think I see the story when that white lady she didn't want to get help when she needed wasn't on 911 but it was a real story when mm-hmm. the guy when they when the paramedic showed up and the black girl was trying to help the guy because he was having a heart attack and he said no she's black yeah sit there and die in piggy it, it was when he um had poop coming out of his mouth disgusting 911 yeah. I I'd be like good I'm glad I ain't got to do with your poop ass and then he and then he wanted Eddie to help him in and he was like I'm Mexican. And then he just refused help. Like, you stupid as fuck. And that's another thing. That's another thing. Mexicans and black, we supposed to be like this, y'all. There should be no competition. There is no competition. Why I'm seeing these TikToks talking about if black people could wear, wear lace friends, why why um, why um we can't wear box braids? <laughs> that's a whole other story for a different day. But... <clears throat> you think... I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. My thing is, half these people, if they wanted to do it, they would fucking do it. They just doing this, ask, asking these questions for the internet. Yeah. Like, for a if you actually wanted it, you would go get it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's people who would have no problem braiding your hair. Not at all. Money is money. We don't give a fuck. So why are you asking these questions? People be trying to educate you saying that it's not for your hair because it can't pull your hair out because you have, you have straight, you have naturally straight hair. You don't have coarse hair. It's not going to attach like it should. But if you want to do that with your hair, can't nobody stop you do it. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother difference. But, but seeing Latinas and Blacks trying to go back and forth ain't right. Yeah. We both colored. <laughs> if we were slaves back then, guess who would have been a slave? Me and you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? What? Mm-hmm. What? Latinos? They colored? They not Black. But they colored? If they wasn't pale or fair skin, I'm pretty sure they were not slaves. They what? It, that's another thing. I may have to brush up on my history. It was just blacks and whites back then. No, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to explain. I just know they were not slaves. Hmm. I could be wrong. Well, let me look it up and come back to y'all. Yeah, I don't want to say nothing crazy like some of these people be doing. But all y'all know, a, a color is a color. We don't give a fuck. I, you know what I, what I'm I'm, I certainly do not give a fuck what color you are. I don't give a damn. And for you to think that you better than somebody because of your color, think again. Think again. That's not right. That's childish as fuck. Like, grow up for real. Please. Like, this, this is not first grade. You are not cool, cooler than me because you got a, a, a Pokemon backpack. Cause everybody, if you was really cool, you had the rolling backpack. I had a few rolling backpacks. You no, know, same. And everybody wanted to be me. Pretty sure my last rolling backpack was like, I think like eighth grade. I think mine was like sixth grade. Mm. But my eighth grade one wasn't the business. It was like more heavy duty because we had on the books and yeah. we didn't have lockers. But when we got to high school, I just remember this one girl. How did we switch up the topic like that? I don't know. <laughs> but stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us, y'all. But when we was in high school, this girl, she was a grade above us. Yeah. And she used to roll with her backpack everywhere. And, it, it like, I don't think she was getting talked about because she had a rolling backpack in high school. You got talked about because your rolling backpack would bump everybody going through the hallway. It's a jam-packed hallway, and you try to walk through your classes. Is that one white girl? Yes. Yeah. Pamela is her name. I don't know. Because I had her in my, um, in my um, when we went to the retreat, um, and we had the bunk beds. We had to bunk with people. Mm. Y'all, when you go to Catholic school, right, we go to these retreats. So we was it was like first grade, first ever, first freshman year. We yeah. had to go. We, it was mandatory to go to these retreats. It was like two night retreat, so we had to go sleep, spend a night with strangers we didn't fucking know, which is crazy to me. And they also took your phones. They took your. We couldn't have phones. So tell me why they would bunk you with two people that was a grade ahead of you, and then there's like three of the regular people, right? So thank God I had friends before going into the um, dorms because I bunk. Um, I don't think I had any older person in my. You didn't have nobody. I don't think so. Lucky you. Lucky fucking you. I may have. I don't know. 
Okay, go. That was probably just cool. But anyway, so I, luckily I made friends before we went on the treat. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so we was bunking, and me and my friends were on one side. So it was on one bunk. It was like a bunk on top. Then the second bunk on the bottom had a bed that came out. Mm -hmm. So it was two beds on the bottom. What the fuck is you doing? Okay. We got to be, we got to be alert. Don't be looking over here. I'm glad you saw him because I didn't. I, I can't see shit out there. I was like a damn raccoon. I can see through the night. I'm nocturnal. I can see all chores, but I can't see all mine. I can see our chairs. Okay. Have my foe. Have my foe. We could be cops, really. Okay. We could. Okay, go. But anyway, so, so anyway, so yeah, we used to bunk. So I had my friends on this side, and the other side was a bunk bed with just the uh, mediator. So it was the two people that was in tenth grade. Mm -hmm. So Pamela was on the top bunk. And then the other girl, she was cool. She was on the bottom bunk. And she was on the phone with her boyfriend, right? And I just remember it was like the middle of the night. Now, don't hold me. I, I, don't, I don't blame Pamela for saying this. But she was on the phone with her boyfriend. We barely could tell she was on the phone. But Pamela, I know where she was like, can you put your phone away? Because we're not supposed to have our phones anyway. And you're talking on the phone all night. I was like, the fuck? I was like, huh? <laughs> and the girl just, I don't know what happened after that because it was so long ago. And then it's just like I don't know. I was just like, I didn't like her from that point on. And then seeing her in school with the roller backpack, man. At the time I wanted to kick that shit in, in 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 the back, I really did. Or cut off a wheel or something. I didn't like her like that. I didn't. I didn't. She That's just so gave random. off like like you know what I'm saying. I have to be a teacher's pet, you know. Yeah. It's like girl, ain't nobody up in here. Who the fuck cares? We should be up all night having pillow fights. You over here talking about let's get some sleep. So we can get up in the morning and get free breakfast. That shit was nasty as fuck. I remember because me and, em, me and, me and Emerald was over here talking about the sausage. How they didn't taste like sausages. And they gave us eggs on the side. The two biggest people in the school in the class. And I was like, oh, this ain't right. I know they ain't feeding us right. <laughs> the fuck? My I was irritating as shit. My God, that's anyway, so random. Girl, that's it's, it's some key points I remember here and there. I do. And they talk about let's go on a hike and they, then they're going to have that same sentence look out for snakes and bears. We, Bitch, the fuck we out here then? We went on a hike? Yes, we did to get to that little ceremony. Oh. When it, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That wasn't that far. It was far enough for them to tell us watch out for snakes and bears? Are you dumb? I don't remember that. Not you. Not you dumb. No, no, I'm yeah. talking about them dumb. Having all these kids out in the woods. I don't remember that. And didn't somebody's bus break down on the, on, on the way up there? Somebody's bus broke. It wasn't mine though. It wasn't mine because somebody had told me while I was on the bus. I was gonna walk shit. I wasn't gonna walk nothing. Or y'all could have walked me right back down that hill. I wasn't gonna walk shit. Where, 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 where we even? Where were we? I couldn't even tell you, brother. But I know it was in the hills. Yeah. Because we had to go up all the mountains. And that's what started my damn fear and of buses. Then I remember that one kid, he had to go home. They 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 had to call his mom in the middle of the night because he got in trouble. Because somebody's going to different cabins. Mm. It's like, y'all are in ninth grade. Okay, well, let me not speak. I don't know what y'all did in ninth grade, but that's crazy. You humping and dumping at night? At the beginning of ninth grade? Man, you're mm. like freshly 13, 14. What the fuck you doing? Makes me. Anyways. I don't yeah. know. I don't really remember that retreat. But I was there for a good time, not a fun time. Hello? This is the hell? <laughs> but anyways, and we supposed to be for the, there for Jesus. I mean, damn. Did we go... I do remember that we had adoration or mass or something under the stars at night. In them sleeping bags. My sleeping bag was <laughs> my sleeping bag was wet and shit. My sleeping bag was wet and shit. It was peaceful though. They had all that. No, it wasn't peaceful. It was a peace. It was peaceful until I seen yeah. them rabbits and them deer. It, it, yeah. Inches from us, and my damn my damn all sleeping bag was just done but wet. Where we the condensation. We we knew each other. We uh, knew of each other. Uh, that's that's when we weren't friends. We were friends. We weren't friends. Did you not go to summer school? I did. We were friends. We knew of each other. We we, we knew out. of each other, but we were not. And you friends. sat by me when we had we were sitting outside in adoration, Danielle. Because remember, he told me about my phone being on. You was right there. Who else, who was it? I all I know is I got my phone taken away. Yeah, <laughs> you did. Because I remember when I had service. Remember, out of the whole class, I was the only one that had service. Y'all over here knocking AT and T and shit. And I was the only one that had service. I told my mom, they was like, don't text nobody for these two days. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. My mama got to know where I'm at. And you used my phone, too. When? You did. For what? You did when they took yours. Why would I yeah, have yeah, used Yeah, it had phone. to be you. It had to. I don't think it was me. Because I remember we was on them wet-ass sleeping bags, and my phone was faced up. And it, it, I guess it made, like, a notification or something. And it was a Nokia. So, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't really turn it off like that. And he's talking about, make sure you turn your phone off. I know we're not supposed to have phone. Fuck off. We in the middle of the goddamn who God knows what. And you talking about turning my phone off. I'm not on it. What? I don't remember.
remember that. I don't. I don't think that was me. I think it was. I don't. Didn't, think that did was we me. not sit together in adoration when we was sitting by them deers? I don't. I don't remember. I saw Bambi and I saw somebody next to me and I could have sworn it was you. I was thirteen years old. I do not remember that. That was like fifteen years ago. Please. Okay, I got someone better for you. Okay. Do you remember going to the retreat in sophomore year? When we had to make the rain sounds in that can. Was that or was that eighth grade? I didn't go to eighth grade with you. Duh. Oh. Duh. It had to be sophomore year. We went on a retreat 10th grade. It was inside the gym? No, it was actually somewhere. Or was it... Damn, was it like a field trip or a retreat? And Mr. Deals was there, I thought. At the aquarium? No, that's the... That's a damn aquarium retreat. <laughs> I'm talking about a retreat where they made us make raid sounds with the little kid. It had to be. I, it had to be. No, uh, I great. feel like I re I know what you're talking about, but I kind of don't. I don't remember. Now get one of this, y'all. Oh, get a load okay. of this. I do remember they used to have like little confessionals, like literally full on Mean Girls, like last scene. She doesn't go here type shit. That was one time. That was one. That time. was a crazy time. It was supposed to be such a safe space with a, 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 a gym for like 700 kids. How was we supposed to take that shit serious? So we sitting there, right? And everybody's talking about it's such a safe space. You, you just tell what you want. If you want to get something off your chest, if you want somebody to know something, da 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 And this man going to stand up. He going to say, since it's safe, what's a jigaboo? I was like, I didn't even know what it was, but I knew that, not to ask you. That was during our um, Black Black History Month um, assembly. No way. Yes. When Claire got up there and started doing all that shit? No, that was a different time. Oh, shit. We did more than one. Oh, my God. Well, that was one. And then two, then y'all had a problem with the girl. The girl that we uh that, that bullied us in, in acting class that we always talk about. And that she was you like, always talk about. That you always talk about. Then, yo, she took my, my burrito. Friend. I'm not going to let that down. They said if, if you're not going to show her face, don't talk about her no more. Let that be the last time you speak of her. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. That's rude as fuck. I would not do that. It's, it's, it's in the past. It don't even bother me no more. But I do have a, I have a bone to pick. Why is you taking my burrito? That's okay. all I got to say. Tell, tell the story. Tell so, the story. anyways, then y'all felt bad. What is he doing? I don't know. He pee peeing. But then y'all felt bad. So, she... <laughs> So she was, that was like, make a note to somebody you want to make amends with or something like that. They was like, I'm always mean to her, so I'm going to write a note. And come to think of it, no wonder you be telling me I didn't get bullied. Because you was the bully. <laughs> How so? You the one that had to write her a note. They told everybody in the class, they was like, write somebody a note in here that you want to make amends with. And I literally told the teacher, I was like, I ain't got no beef for nobody. I, and I, I was like, you I have to do something. You have I to do something. I didn't have no beef with nobody either. But so I you just brought up, you brought an apology to her though. You did. So you was the bully. That's why they always talk about shit. I didn't get bullied. My John, I, I didn't. I never bu bullied that girl. Please, you didn't bully me, but you felt bad. You bullied her, so that's why you made the. I'm um, sorry. No okay, deal. honestly, she don't know this, and you know this. The only, the only reason I ever felt bad about something that I. I remember that. Kind of did to her. I, 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 I didn't do it. Yesterday. It was Mother Nature. I remember that yesterday. I remember like yesterday. I was like, you was, you came to me and told me. And I was like, why didn't you just tell her? Because she was already all, halfway across the thing. And you were standing right next to me. I wasn't so. going to tell her shit. I didn't like it. <laughs> okay. But but I do feel bad about that. So that's why I wrote her a note. But it looked like she was making her trick on the way to the bathroom anyway. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> anyways. So, what are you going to do? Okay. But so, we went to a Catholic school, right? And on mass days, the, the girls had to wear skirts, right? That's why we saw right in the head because we went to Catholic school. Get with it. <laughs> I don't give a damn. We good as fuck. We some good people. For real. And it makes sense. Send your kids to Catholic school for real. If you want them to turn out like this great. Yeah. So. You, you, what? You remember that kid we went to ninth grade with? Oh, no. Exclude that person. Who went to prison in ninth grade? You mean the pterodactyl that I told fly no, somewhere else? No. no. That's, did I tell y'all that story? Okay, wait. Be quiet. Tell anyway, you, so the girl mm -hmm. that bullied my that bullied Marjan. No, no, no. Take the quotations away and say it again. Okay. Anyways, that girl. That bullied Marjan and whatever. took her burrito. Okay, that girl. And ran off. Okay, be quiet. Okay, go ahead. That girl. So we had masks. We were all wearing skirts. Mm -hmm. I guess she was on her period. She oh, oh please okay anyway. you knew she was <laughs> you knew she was our anyway so please. oh please it was lunchtime and we me and my child and this other girl was just hanging out talking 
she that girl she was tre was trekking down down the little breezeway <coughs> of the school because you know it was outside classes inside dress outside you know mm -hmm. anyway so she was trekking down the breezeway and I, I i turned my head to see who's walking by it's natural and i all i see this giant blood stain and i'm i'm just in shock for a full five seconds what you wasn't in shock no i was in shock you said <laughs> I, freaking I, freaking I freaking did not <laughs> Honestly, I, I paused for like five seconds and then I turned to our John and I say, should I go tell her? You didn't ask me that. You said, oh, she got a blood stain. Okay. You have made me aware. Like, I was going to go tell her. I wasn't going to tell her shit. Somebody. Until she gave me my burrito back. I kind of feel bad. I, I, I should have told her. I but then to day, I she. Day, I feel fine. But honestly, we were here mm -hmm. and she came out the hallway that was like here. So we're here. She came out the hallway that, that was here. It was like a circle where we was hanging out. We was right here, and it's like a circle that, like, the, the walkway is a circle, so she was yeah. walking like this. She done already passed my Yeah, so, so we're, like, here, she's here, and by the time I, I thought to tell her, she was all the way around there, and it was a lawn in the middle, but we were in 10th grade, and the lawn is it was for seniors yeah. only, so yeah. it's not like I could run across the lawn without getting beat up, so... Them kids weren't gonna do shit. They, they wasn't. But remember, we was, remember we was in 12th grade and then a, so like a yeah. freshman, he ran across and everybody was just looking at him like, we don't give a fuck. Literally don't care. It's, it's grass. It's, it's, it's lawn. It's grass. We don't give a damn. I, I didn't even hang out there 12th no, grade. It wasn't cool. It was in the middle. It, was all, it wasn't secluded at all. Yeah. But yeah. That's the only thing I feel bad about not telling her. Yeah, you made me aware. I could have told her, but I feel nothing. I feel fine. Marjan, by the time, um, by the time I turned back from telling you, she was all already entering the, the other hallway. So. Yeah, and going to the bathroom. So I feel like she knew. Us telling her would have been like, uh, well, I did know. Now I know times two. You know? I ain't trying to validate it, but maybe you shouldn't be so mean to people. And then they'll be telling you, no problem. If she wasn't mean, I probably would have walked behind her while she went to the bathroom. But that's what you get for being mean. Honestly. I don't even think she went to the bathroom. She beats me. I know she went to the bathroom that time when you had to go to the bathroom. I know that much. Anyways, anyway, so. that, that, I, I, I was honestly never mean to her. Then why did you write the, the apology note to her? Because I felt like she was trying to be like friends with us. That's how you get a boyfriend trying to be mean to him. Oh, yeah, I mean, ew. but I felt like she kept trying to be friends with us, but we just wasn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. What was my final straw is that we were doing a play. We all met it. Okay, this is how we that, that. That was the first. <laughs> that, that, that was, was the, the first, first, and it took the last. That was okay. That had to be the second. Right, yeah, okay. You no, going to the bathroom with the first. We not gonna keep talking about this, okay? No, we ain't never talk about this. We always talk about this. Not the acting part. Yeah, we do. The Toy Story. Yes. No, we didn't. Anyway, so Wait, we had a. If, if y'all know the story, please put the alien emoji. I mean, please put. The alien emoji, if there's an alien emoji. Okay, got yeah, we gave y'all time. Go ahead and put the alien emoji. If y'all know this story. If y'all don't know this story, what had happened was we met this girl. We call her a girl because she No, uh, she, no, don't, what? don't, please. <laughs> okay, go. We don't, didn't know what creature don't. she looked like, so we gave no. her a name. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I can't get my burrito back, so she can't I can't give her feelings. Anyway, so yeah, this was when we were young. I'm so I feel when so we bad. were young and Dell hit ass. My no, God. Anyway, get over it. Get over it. <laughs> anyways, so me and Dell came close because we bonded over being bullied by her. I don't give a damn what you say. Anyway, so Danielle, the first star was Danielle having to go to the bathroom, and she saw Danielle had to go to the bathroom. She got up and flew to the teacher. She did not walk. She did not run. She flew. Y'all heard this story a million times. Okay, that's the first one. That's the first one. That's the first star. That was yeah, the first. Dog. And usually people get two to three strikes with me, and that, that the second one will blow y'all mind. So we sitting here, we're like, okay, so we got a project to do. We have to pretend like we a Toy Story, and we need a character for everybody. Now, the teacher had it out for us. I didn't like her no singing ass either, yeah. because she knew we didn't fuck with her. We, she knew we didn't fuck her. We, she really did. And everybody got in groups. She said groups of four. We had our group. Everybody had groups of four. Of course, the girl is left out. She ain't got nowhere. She's like exactly the oddball. Four people. Yeah, she the oddball. Everybody had exactly four people. So why she couldn't go somewhere else? So the teacher was like, bam, pair, pair up with them. Ah, fuck you. If 
like, fuck this guy. So I was like, okay, whatever, fuck it. We're going to have to figure out how to put her in something. So somebody was Little Bill Pete, somebody was Woody, somebody was Lightyear, and somebody was the Slinky Bear, okay? Mm-hmm. Tell me why. We was like, okay, so we can make you um, the... Um, dinosaur or something. Yeah, the dinosaur. Uh, or my, uh, Mr. Mr. Potato Head or yeah, something. Mr. Potato Head would have been fitting. <laughs> <laughs> but we tried to give her something like, okay, you could be like one of the main characters. You could be the dinosaur. Somebody that's a main character. And it had nothing to do with looks. We just tried to give her a main character. Everybody had a main character. I want to be the aliens. Uh, I was like, Gern, the aliens have no lines. What? Because it did make me mad. Like, she ruined the whole play. That's why we got a C. That's why I failed the acting class. I got a D. You failed it. I got a D. I got a D. And I had to redo it. Wait, did I? No, it was falling to a D. Because I never had to make it up. I never had to make it up. But she, it was falling to a D. And I'm like, this is my last shot. This is my last shot. And she's like, she called my, she want to be the alien. I'm like, there's the, the, the aliens have no line. She was like, exactly. I was like. So we had the group group work with her. We had to communicate outside of class. Yuck. You know what I'm saying? We had to get her number. We had to get her name. We had to socialize and shit like that. And then when it came time to doing it, we the four people were doing something. And of course, she's sitting there. We was like, okay, girl, where's your part? And she was like, she was like, I'm, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we have to write a script. And she didn't help with nothing. She didn't do nothing. She was just like, I just do beep, beep, beep. Yeah. That's how she laughing. She smell like sneeze too, so it really pissed me off. Get the fuck over it. Anyway, so that's a, that was the third, the final straw with me. And then the burrito just really set it off. It really set it off. It really did. And I saw her mom at the football practice because my brother had football practice with her younger brother. And I was this close to telling her mom about herself, really close. I was like, why would you raise her? Why would you raise her like that? And I thought something was mentally wrong with her. I thought something was wrong. And I, I was I was like, let me go to her mom and come to the source. And then something told me, Mm-mm, that's not your place. Her mom was so nice. Yes, that's uh, why it didn't make sense. Um, for senior pictures, we had the same calling time. So when I went, I saw her there with her mom. And her mom was so they chill. Looked and so, yes. And she had the nerve to say that her mom died in a, um, in a, a fire accident. This girl was crazy. She was crazy. That, and then y'all wonder why I sit here and talk about her. She lied. She lied. <laughs> and younger me is like, <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just shook. I'm like, how, how could your mom die? And then she hits at her sister fell down the stairs in the fire. I'm like, damn, that was a homicide. <laughs> and you can laugh because it's not true. She lied to all of us. And I'm like, damn, your mom blew up and your sister fell down the stairs. I mean, what's next? And then she's talking about she had to take care of her nephew. Her nephew, I'm like, what? I'm, I'm not and, and, then, and then for a second, I was like, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. And then somebody said, I almost said her name. Somebody said, uh, I saw your mom at the, what you call it? And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. She couldn't even give a response because you lied. No, she said that was her sister. She said that was her sister. I'm like, but you it said your sister be. fell down the stairs. could have been. You said your sister fell down the stairs and went two plus two equals 26. But her mom introduced her as so-and-so's mom. And she she introduced herself and said, hi, I'm so-and-so's mom. That thing lied. And y'all got the nerve to sit here and talk about, why are you still talking about, why are you bothered? I was lied to. Why are you still talking about I was lied to. Why are you still talking about it? To this day, 10 years plus. I cannot understand why she had to lie. 15 years, my John. Get over it. 15? Yes. It's more like 10 plus. 15. Oh, when this happened? Yes. Well, maybe my 15 year old brain still trying to process it. I just can't put my hand around it. I can't. And then we was getting ready for, um, this is senior year. We was getting ready for colleges or whatever. And, mm-hmm. and me, see, I don't give a fuck. People were so hyped up. I'm going to USC. I'm going to UCLA. I'm going out of the state to Laverne. I'm going all this. Da, 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 da. Me, they be like, where am I? I'm going down the street to El Camino. And what about it? What about it? They was like, that's a community college. I was like, college is a college. So what? What's the problem? What's the problem? A college is a college, ho. You know what I'm saying? And she was just so stuck on pleasing people. She was like, I'm going to Arizona State. Girl, you enrolled in El Camino oh. with me. Like, uh, I seen you at the back to school night. What is you talking about? What is you really talking about? And then homegirl called her out on it. And she was like, well, I just changed my mind. I changed my mind. No, you didn't. You lied. Again and again and again. Who was you trying to please? We don't like you already. The fuck? I ain't like you since ninth grade, so why are you trying to get good amends now? We don't give a fuck about you. And you stink. Oh, God. I don't know what happened to the soap, but I'm just like, she ain't used it. Uh, she ain't used it. 
And I mean, she would just go around everywhere, just jumping around, jumping around, smell like sneeze, smell like sneeze, smell like sneeze. My son. And I just couldn't take it. My son. I'm pretty sure one day somebody told her about her smell. Because I'm the one that came. Everybody was going around talking about, what does sneeze smell like? And I told her I was to go up to her. <laughs> and they'd be like, whoa. I was like, yep. Yep. And I wasn't even spreading rumors about her. Everybody knew the smell. I, you know what I'm saying? I just described it right. So, but if you're watching this, I apologize for everything you've been through. And I forgive you for lying. However, I would like my burrito back, so I'm still stuck on that. I can't forgive you, but I will never forget. Especially that being my favorite food. Got me fucked up. But yeah. Mm, We've been through some trials and tribulations, y'all. <laughs> And if you tell me, would you do it all again? I would. I would. Minus her. Minus her. We I, we, we wouldn't be this close if, if, if it wasn't for her, so. Oh, you're right. Oh, I can't forgive you about the burrito then. I guess a $3 burrito ain't that serious. That you didn't even fucking pay for. Call red-handed. Call red-handed. Call red-handed. I did take it from a friend. That's because she offered it. She offered it to me, though. So a stealer is a stealer. A theft is a theft. But you know, it feels good to be to let this out all on camera. Make me feel good, you know. This is about the tenth fucking time you let this out on camera, and it'll be the last time. I I I'll I'll give it to y'all. It'll be the last time. They said know. last time. Let last time be the last time. <laughs> <laughs> they not in charge of me. I'ma say what I want. Y'all gonna hear it. God dang it. Hmm. Hey, y'all ever thought this probably therapeutic to me? Shit. It's so people ain't heard it. Acting class was fun though. It was. Yeah. It was chill. My favorite part about the teacher was she fell down the bleacher. That's only because I didn't like her. Remember our last mass of the um of the school year in ninth grade? It was it was on a senior lawn. Don't bring it up. It was during her class. She over there she cut cut cause 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 she was half deaf in one year. So she over there. What the fuck? And she would hold the notes to him like. <laughs> Wasn't she also the choir teacher? Yes. I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do that. And she's like, this is how you hold the note. I'm like, how the fuck would you know? You can't hear out that left octave. So what the fuck? She was trying to be the next Stevie Wonder, but eyes edition. Hell. I wasn't having it. <laughs> I really didn't like her like that either. I did get a C, a C minus in that class. Acting. Now let that soak in. I'm telling you, she had and some then, mouth us. And then, it was this one girl. She, we was in 9th grade, she was in 10th grade in acting class, right? We had to do monologues. Monologues. And, and me, I had to go first, so I'm like, oh, okay. But I did damn good. Wait, you talking about um, that girl? Yeah. Her. She was 12. She was so great. She, she she was twelfth grade. She was gone before we was we um before we got to uh, to sophomore year because oh, no she wonder. had that varsity jacket on. Remember? No wonder. Anyway, so <clears throat> I was a junior. She was a junior. Okay, I went up first to to the monologues, and I'm just standing there because I'm fucking nervous. Y'all y'all know me. I'm nervous, and I and I do my damn monologue, and I and I and I remember every single word. I did damn good. And then the teacher, I don't know why the fuck she did this, said, said, does anyone have, have any feedback for her? And this whole ass tramp, and I know she was hoe because it, it was it was little it whispers in the ear talking about how, how she had about five abortions in, in the first semester. God damn! But th that, that's not my business. Not anyway. our business. Like, girl, <laughs> keep your mouth in your legs, hoe, but Please. whatever. She, she talking about, um, she, she was just up there looking a little stiff. She could have been moving around some. I'm I was like, like, you would know what like, moving around did, is, huh? did, did you do research? Oh, pussy. I'm like, did did you do re research, girl? But then the teacher was like, oh, no, that's actually how you're supposed to do it. Like, exactly. Shut up. She wouldn't know about oh. being loose. Oh, hussy. Keep your mouth I didn't like her. The, I remember the monologues. I had it with a junior, too. And then um, we had to pretend like I was a thief or something, taking her necklace off. And she had, that's like, one of the monologues. 
what was the acting or something that's that's when we was doing them damn games scripts T tax cab or some shit or elevator whatever i guess was. but anyways i had to be paired up with her and her name was brianna she had a big teeth and a wide face Anyway, she was very petite. I don't know who that was. So I was, was taking her, um, braid her necklace off. You know them chunky necklaces It's the same way, the same girl? No, it was oh, another one. Girl. Yeah, she was a junior and she had braces. But anyway, she was like part of that little group or whatever that thought that was all that because it was like three grades over or whatever. I mean, I don't know what the fuck that means. You're in a group full of freshmen. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So anyways, my script was to take her necklace off like I was trying to steal it or something. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get it off because it was a damn Ross damn necklace and it was jammed right mm -hmm. and she tried to make it seem like it was real gold i think it was like a juicy couture um necklace she got from fucking ross and the class went and fucking unclaps so she she was like oh. and she unclip i'm like thank you because i can't unclip that that cheap ass shit maybe next time I'll get a real fucking um necklace if you're trying to show off hoe the fuck and i looked at her i was like thank you because i can't get that cheap shit off i wear cheap shit but i would never have somebody try to take it off yeah. I was about to yank that shit off. I'm like, it's so goddamn cheap. The fuck? And you sitting here, we were walking around like, I got a juicy chore. I got a juicy chore. That shit was probably $10, ho. I can get that a damn Mickey, Mickey, Mickey D's Happy Meal. What the fuck is you talking about? Ho. I didn't like that. I didn't like being in a group. Um, I didn't like being in a class with older kids. I didn't. Damn. I hated it. <clears throat> but they always thought that was better. And I'm like, girl, if like, you in a class full of freshmen, that means you had to fail somewhere. You had to fail somewhere. And I wouldn't know because I was in a class full of sophomores when I was a, a senior. But I, I, I sat still. I knew my place. I was like, well, I was kind of dumb. I did fail for five times. That's how I got in this predicament. I didn't get in that class thinking I was better than anybody. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just did my shit and went. Yeah. But then they just was like, oh, we're in, we're in 12th grade, so we're better than y'all. Girl, you failed acting. But your parents pay the same price that my parents pay. So And can't even afford a real juicy couture necklace. And I'm sure they wasn't more than about $40, $50. If you gonna get one, get the real shit, bro. Co. So how how the hell are you better than me? Because you eighteen, mm. in a freshman class. Please sit your ass down in a class full of thirteen, fourteen year olds. Please. And you wondering why we sitting here laughing at your dumb ass? <laughs> we ain't even we ain't even developed yet. <laughs> and you got a whole frontal lobe that's fully developed with your old stanky ass. The fuck, old twenty five year old in this damn freshman ass class. Please, we a whole ten years apart, and you talking that bullshit. I'm still growing. What you doing here? The fuck? <laughs> Billy Madison head ass. Where's y'all please? Anyways. <laughs> she, I, I guess we went down memory lane. We, we were supposed to do this. This is going to be a quick video because the devil done turned off with the lights. And you know I don't fuck with him. And you done started talking about freaking gurns and burns and burritos. So don't ever put her in the same sentence as my favorite food, please. That will be the last time I talk about it. Ooh, y'all gonna rip my head off. Tell me, don't pick it up again. You ain't gonna show a picture. I cannot do that. I'm not that type of person. I'm, I went to I'm, a Catholic school. I'm surprised you didn't I can't do up, that. bring up the picture. The picture that she hopped in? We wouldn't have a picture of her if she didn't hop in it. So that's another issue. The picture we have with her is because she hopped in it. Simple. She hopped. No, that's generous. She flew in it. And, and to wrap back oh. around, to wrap back around since we're going down memory lane, that yo was talking about the juvenile that went to uh, jail oh. in, um, in school. How the fuck you 14 and you go to jail? You are a problem. You criminal. She come back to school. We had adoration that day, right? I'm thick. My legs do not crisscross. So and you, I'm not doing crisscross episodes on this hot, hard gym floor. So I'm sitting in spread eagle. It's enough for everybody to go. It's a gym floor. I'm sure you're going to find somewhere to sit. So I'm sitting there just comfortable as can be. And this pterodactyl going to fly in from Juvenile Hall talking about, can you move your lip? I was like, no. No. And she was like, <sighs> and then she fly back over where she go with her friends. I'm like, girl, you got to get up out of here. Damn zoo raft, the fuck? I don't know what the fuck to call it, really. I just know she thought I was going to move from spread eagle. And I'm going to be sitting here crushed up with Chris Clark applesauce. And you just flew up in here. You can hang from the damn basketball courts and you'll be fine. But you're not going to tell me to move my legs so you can sit down or crotch or whatever the fuck. Oh, How do you land Marjorie. from your flying position? Marjorie. Huh? It's enough. And I'll be saying this stuff because if they see this video, I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't. It's meant for you. So, you're welcome, ho. I told you in the moment how I felt and I will tell you now. I don't give a damn. But they all that stand on business. I don't give a fuck.
are we done? I've been done. You feel better? I don't feel, feel better about what? Now that you got what you had to get off your chest. I didn't have anything to get off my chest. It was you. I didn't have nothing on my chest. Do you feel better? I feel great. I feel, I feel great before the video. I feel great now. Because honestly, I don't know where the fuck this came from. It came from slaves. It came from white people. It came from guns. It came from, I don't know, juvenile hall bumping and grinding at the age of 12. I really don't know what the hell we talked about, really. Shit. But just so y'all know, we good. We that's why we that's why we let it out here in a safe place because we went to Catholic school. So we got God on our hands. We're the best people you can meet, really. Honestly. Now I would say everybody from Catholic school got the same um got the same views as us. They don't. No. Some of them is walking with the devil. Lord have mercy. But it's not me, I can tell you that right now. Mm. Y'all can go ahead and stomp with him. Anyways. He got the damn son. He got the damn son in hell with him being a disco ball. Please, I don't want to stop with him. Please, I follow God by faith. That's it. Wait, what? I don't know what's going the on. The devil has the son as a disco ball because it's so hot. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm sitting here chill. Yeah. Good with the Lord. Amen. But some people that went to Catholic school just not right, and they 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 they, they, they should be right, being that you went to Catholic school. Get right with the Lord or don't get right at all, ho. I don't understand. I really don't. <laughs> and the fact that people walk around talking about, well, she wasn't really loose. You're a hoe at Castle School. Don't talk to me. You you a hussy. You should be up in that confessional with the priest getting your sins away. Ho bag ho. Talking about it ain't, it ain't loose enough. It ain't loose enough. Give us a give us an example then, Scarlet. You hussy. You know what I'm saying? Give us an example then, Easy A. Give us an example then, ho. Not the scarlet letter. Give us an example. Give us an example. Give us an example. Shit. I don't like that she fucked with you like that. I really don't. Neither did I. And she was dirty because every time she came into, um, she used to sit right in front of me. Every time you come to school, every time you come to this class, why are you getting ready? What's wrong with your bathroom at home? And, and it was fourth period. Girl, you mean to tell me you, you got to put deodorant on right now? You got to put perfume, lotion, moisturize your lips, put your makeup on, do your eyebrow. What's wrong with the morning routine? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I'm going to talk my shit while I can. So what are you going to do? Hussy. I like that word. Dolly was on to something. Well, what, no, who, who else spoke with me? Who? The damn cheer, cheer slash step coach. Oh, uh, Cooper? He, yeah, he taught um, um, African American studies, right? Now, y'all might know him because he's been on the news. And my mom hated him because he used to make us pay. I was on the step team, so he would make us pay for like par homes and stuff for the cheer team. Mm -mm. What's wrong with you, bad breath? Mm -mm. But go ahead, tell your story. Anyway, so he taught African American studies. So I was in his class. One day, he said, Oh, let's go out to the parking lot. And you can pretend, you guys will pretend like you're slaves and one by one come up to the thing and act out some kind of slave thing, right? So I at the Catholic school. What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do? So I go up there, pretend like I'm picking picking cotton, sting away, wait in the water, okay? No, you did not add the song to it. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. That's that's the only thing I thought to do. So I guess nobody's was was up to par for for his damn um but whatever the fuck he wanted. His, his he put you in a black history music play. No. Oh, I thought because you were so good. <laughs> so then he go back. He take us back to the classroom and he start yelling at us because because nobody nobody's assignment was up to par. I guess. But then he gonna use my he used my thing as a damn example of how bad it was i would have went completely out of pocket and i'm sorry i, I, I wish excuse, i did because excuse me i'm like well you should know because you closer to the slaving days than i am so you show us how it's done then massa you show us then but me i, I was like 14 and i'm sitting there, i'm sitting in class tearing up about to cry like but if, if it was today i would have said something I because. think we all and, and then we're going to see him in the gas station by my house. When? Having them kids uh, beg for uh, money. Remember? I don't remember that. 
I don't remember that. Anyway. But then, but then he he ended up getting fired because one day, I guess he he just didn't feel like teaching, right? So he played <laughs> what <laughs> he played the wedding crashers idiot yeah, movie school. in a Catholic school, and and I guess some some teacher poked his head through the, through the window and saw it and snitched on him. That's crazy. So he got fired. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this. Karma. My brother did go to the school we went to, right? And I will say this. Mm -mm -mm. One of the teachers that was sent by God looked straight like Usher Raymond to me. Fine as hell. I will go back. I will go what back. What are you talking about? Um, where y'all going? Oh. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, like, it's a lot of things that I would go back and do differently, and I would have got his number. I'm sorry. Clearly, I couldn't have gotten it while I was there, Danielle. He was married, Marjan. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Remember he got a divorce? Yeah, but while we were there, he was still married. I said after. Oh. I've been knowing him since I was in sixth grade. Oh. That's weird. But he fine. He gone now, though. Not like dead or nothing, but he just not there. That man about 50 years old now. I don't give a damn. What age I do with it? I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care. I remember I was at the zoo and I saw him at the zoo with his kids. And he he went to um he he went to church with my cousin's mom and she was there and then she saw him and then I guess she was like, Oh, um, you know Danielle, right? So me, if, if I see somebody I, if I see somebody in public, I'm not gonna say shit. I'm nope. I'm gonna turn away and pretend, pretend like I don't know you. No. So this man, he he see me was like, oh, you you don't see me? I was like, ah, oh, that's so awkward. He was so far. He's so fine though. He, he like fine. one of the aggressive people. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, hi, Mister. <laughs> like, and then we was leaving. My, we was picking up our brother one time, and then we was driving by him because we didn't see him. And he was like, Marjorie, Danielle. Y'all not gonna say nothing? I was like, well, now no, I am. No, you no, fine. No, no, He said, he said, don't y'all ever <gasps> go by it without saying hi. Like, um. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Why? Anyway. Where the minute? Where the minute? You anyway, know what I mean? This, this video too long. This video too long, Marge Han. Anyways, he know who he is. The one that looked like Usher that went to, uh, what you call he it? He did not look like Hit my line. He fine, Daniel. Lord, hit my mercy. He was fine. Mm -hmm. Anyways, bye. I wonder where the other fine was at. The one that looked like Eminem. Didn't you have a crush on them too? He was fine as fuck. And he had that accent. He used to say that. I used to love when he said announcements at the end of the day. I used huh? to love it. <laughs> Nothing inappropriate. We was kids, whatever. But you can have crushes on people. I never had a crush on a teacher. Why are you lying? You ain't never had a crush on nobody at Sarah. No. Nobody. A teacher? No. Not your teacher, but somebody else's teacher. No, I've never. It, you ain't never, never seen Mr. Pistachio. Didn't, didn't, wasn't interesting. He was fine as fuck. I don't think he was that cute. Mrs. Dunlap, fine as fuck. He was okay. No, he wasn't okay. He was fine as hell. He was okay. Mr. Keeley, he was cool. He was just like surferish. He, you know, he was cool though. He could have been my little side thing. Um, but the one I'm talking about, I'm not saying his name because. No, but yeah, he fan. Mm hmm. Yeah, never. Anyways. Bye. I don't know how, how the fuck we, we went back to high school. Her fault. But your fault. How so? You, your fault. How so? You, saw, you said something else. Yes, you did. No. You got to talking about ro rolling backpacks and shit, and then you brought up the, that that girl. You talked about first of all. You talked about backpacks. No, you brought up backpacks. No. And now okay, I said Pokemon backpack, and you said you know what what was really cool ro roller backpacks, and then you went into that girl who had a, a, a roller backpack in high school. Then yeah, you started up. I just let the ball roll. Wait, right I said Pokemon backpack and and let, and let it go. You kept going until you got to Gern, until you got to everybody else. But, hmm, I can't have a conversation by myself, so who was in it? You can't fucking have a conversation by yourself, please. That's a lie. You sat here and you talked about her, too. You Marjan, talked about her, too, because I, I called you Marjan, out. Marjan, you know how many fucking times you've had a conversation by yourself? It was a rant. It wasn't a conversation. Uh, it wasn't a rant. It was a rant, and not a conversation. That's just daily work for me and myself and I. That's it.
and I just happened to let the camera see. But it was only twice I did that on camera. That's it. Like what? That I had a conversation to myself. And I don't really be talking. She be calling it Marjan Ranch. I be trying to have a conversation with Dale. Dale be like, uh, uh, uh. Marjan, you be ranting. I do not be ranting. Give me an example then. Tell me what I be doing. Give me an example. The last one, you went on and on and on about fucking J-Lo. I don't like that hoe. Okay. And me neither. But, I, but I'm not going to sit here and talk about her. And then you went on and on about fucking P. P. Diddy. Puff Daddy. Puff, he ain't Puff Daddy nothing. He ain't nobody daddy. He, he get on my damn nerves. That's why I talked about him for so long. Puffy Puff. Get on my goddamn nerves. That's what that's, that's, that is. Another example. Exactly. All I be doing is spitting facts. It ain't me ranting. It ain't me talking to myself. Oh, I'm glad. Oh. Ha! That's some good ass ice. Stop chewing on it. <laughs> Y'all made it this far. What I be telling that young when she chewing that ice? Leave it in the comments below. Because I be telling her, don't be chewing on the ice. I ain't trying to take you back to the doctor. So why why would you tell them if you want if you want them to write it below? They had time to write it below. No, Stop chewing didn't. on it. You know the doctor that opened this late, right? Hello? <laughs> I just want the car. That ain't nobody fault but but y'all. And I had no more wipes. I'm gonna be sticky and it's wet everywhere. <laughs> That's your fucking fault. You a dumb bitch. Get, get me my ice back. This is what you get. This is what. This is really your fault. This is really your fault. Don't touch my cup. Don't give touch me my, my cup. fucking ice back. But it's your fault. It's the reason your, why no, everything no, spilled. Nobody told you this. I told you to stop chewing on the ice. I cannot take you to the doctor tonight. I can't. Why, why would I need you to want to sit there and be all, Okay, fine. Then you go home and start. Did you start? Yeah, yeah. That's what you be doing when you hurt. And I'm trying to uh, tell you, don't be chewing on the ice. I, I, fucking, I fucking wish it was Friday, boy. God damn, I wish it was Friday. Let me finish talking. God damn, it's only fucking Wednesday. Ah, uh. you, you ain't getting your ice back because you ain't let me finish my thought. So, and you got the car all wet and sticky. And I told you, don't make a mess in here. And what you do? And I told you stop chewing in the ice because I ain't trying to take you to the doctor tonight. And you still gonna chew in that ice. You, so you gotta, gonna learn your lesson. You tonight. got four minutes before my alarm cut it off. Oh, you got four minutes to figure out how you gonna discard this ice because I'm not giving it back to you. Toss it outside, my Tom. I'm I'm over it. Toss it. Uh, if I give it back to you, then you look at me. Toss it, my If I give it back to you, don't be chewing on it. Toss it. If I give it back to you, don't be chewing on Pour it. Pour it out. I'm not pouring shit out. Why? I'm gonna let you have this ice back, but when I give it back to you, let me see. What fucking sense that make? You should still have ice by the time we get back home. Don't be chewing on it like you ain't had no meal. It's gonna be water by then. The fuck? Uh, no snatching. Give it here. Uh, tell yourself no snatching, dummy. Give it here. You ate with that one. You <laughs> ate with that one. Put your hand down. I don't want to have it snatched again. Put your hand give down. It don't snatch here. it. Look, open your mouth. How many corners you got in there? How many of you suck it down? That's too much. I told you that's too much. Well, fuck it. If you want a two-way, fuck it. I can't hold you back. Fuck it. Got me all. Uh, got the car all sticky. Can't even turn the car on. Uh-oh. Imagine. I got your play, though. I saw in the crevices. Anybody told you to um, do all that? Y'all, we gotta go home so she don't. Good, good. I, I told you to toss it. Good. Cause I don't like when she don't be listening. Put that in there. Dumbo. Who you talking to? You. I mean, you can have it. No, go with this. I gotta get this. You so damn dumb. Say it again. You so damn dumb. You, you don't call your friends that the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You don't throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Don't do that. It was a bird. The fuck? It's just sticky in this bitch. You're fucking fuck. No, I told. I need it open. My my space clean. No, I'm gonna do a little inspection because you got you. When I cleaned over there the other day, somewhere I don't found all types of food crevices and shit it up wasn't there. Me. I don't found every single meal you done ate in here. I done found it on the dashboard. Hold this. Let me let me show you on blue light. 
You don't start cleaning your shit up. It's not. It's that, not oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, I gotta get this. I got no. I'm gonna get on camera. I gotta get this. Oh my god! And put this in the video too. It, it's the hot sauce. That it's just the hot sauce. I told you. I told you this. Then y'all move your hand. Move your hand. Look, y'all. Oh my god, and this is see this is why I gotta do an inspection. <laughs> Let me see. It's just from the hot sauce packet that spilled. And it's uh great. I just wiped the car down for a whole Sunday for no reason. None. It's gonna come off. This don't make no sense. And then put this in the video too. No. Put this in the video. This is the only little thing that's nasty on my car now. But you didn't still spill that water over there? Give me a napkin. No. This don't make no damn sense. This is, see, this is what I was scared about. <laughs> and look. <laughs> just that easy, it's gone. Now look on the floor, because I also vacuumed the floor. But you ain't going to be able to tell. Anyways, we're going to go, guys. It's Queen Marjan. We're going to go, guys. Um, we love you guys. Make sure you subscribe, uh, like, uh, comment. Uh, something off. No, nothing in there is No, mine. something is off. Nothing in there is Something mine. is off. Do you see a piece of chicken in there? I know it fell somewhere. That's from yours. But did it, did, do you it's, see it's it? It's in there. It's Can in, you it's get in, it from me? I don't want to touch it. I don't want chicken growing in here, though. That's why I clean the car. See, I don't know where it's at. It's in your cup holder. Oh, my goodness. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> That's a whole damn chicken corner for tomorrow. Really? <sighs> Let me really look. She really doesn't. I didn't do shit, shit over there. The fuck? I yeah. didn't do nothing over there. Ice is way better than a uh, hot sauce throw up on the damn dash. And it's still kind of, look, it's discolored. Ugh, where is my napkin at? Because I just, I, I don't understand. I didn't wipe the car down for fun. Wipe it down, please. I don't want that cover on there. Get it good. It just don't make no sense. You know what, matter of fact, you can take the car. You take the car next time. Yeah, I might let you have it for the weekend so you can do a detailed session on it. Because the way I, I find all type of stuff on your side, it don't make no sense. You didn't find shit on my side. Get up. Let me show you something. Get no, up. I, let, I me do another, my, let me do another I, inspection. I, I don't want to get up. I want to see another inspection. Get up. No. Get up. I want to see another inspection. Anyway, get up. My God. Get up. Let me my see God. first. For real, please stop. Okay, let me see. It ain't nothing on there. Move your feet. Kick them up or something. What's that? Okay. All right. Bye. Just making sure. Bye. Because the way you done let that damn hot sauce fly on the dashboard is crazy. Ain't no home decorum up in this hole. All right. Bye. Wait a minute. I didn't say, oh I didn't say my goodbyes. I didn't, I didn't say my goodbyes. I didn't. So, y'all, this is the video. Then y'all clean up her mess. And, uh, yeah. That's our story about our lives. It's interesting, ain't it? So, I don't see, excuse my hand. I ain't had time to do it. The day y'all rushed me out the house. <sighs> it must be nice waking up beautiful. <laughs> you sound like a fucking boy. You, you literally sound like an old man out of fucking gas station. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I go. That's what I try to do. That's what I try to do. Dang, you was about to say something back. Now I just feel like an ugly hussy. I really do. Because you ain't said nothing back. I done call you beautiful and you ain't said nothing to me. You didn't. Hello? Am I pretty? Am I cute? Am I beautiful? You something. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I, I, I was coming to that. That old lady. I was coming to that old lady. you're always pretty. You're always really beautiful. You're always, always put together. Thank you. I don't be meaning to either. It just come natural. But I'm just saying, I wish I could wake up like you. You ready to go. What the hell is you making lip gloss noises for? I would say we should run the streets, but hell, it's time to go home now. I'm kind of tired. I ain't going to lie. Bye. Bye, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want... um. I ain't got shit else to say. I'm just talking. Yeah.